Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to share with you a math multiplication technique that can help you fasten your computation skills. Our lives are so fast already and time is very important. So, in this video, I hope to help you with a quick technique of multiplication of two digit numbers. First, let's study this chart. The dots represent the digits and the arrows show what you have to multiply. Let's take for example, 31 times 22. Put 31 on the top and 22 on the bottom. Let's start from right to left. Multiply 1 times 2, which equals 2, then write 2 as the last digit. Now, following the middle diagram, multiply 3 times 2 and 1 times 2, which equals to 6 and 2 respectively. Add these two together and the sum is 8. Now, let's move to the left column. 3 times 2, which equals 6. So, the answer to 31 times 22 is 682. Now, let's apply this technique to a real life situation. For example, you are buying Christmas presents for all your classmates. You went shopping and found a cute Labubu keychain worth 80 pesos. You have 31 classmates in total. Let's apply what we've learned. Let's start from right to left. First, multiply 0 times 1 equals 0, then write 0 as the last digit. Now, following the middle diagram, Multiply 0 times 3 and 8 times 1, which equals 0 and 8 respectively. Add these two together and the sum is 8. Now, let's move to the left column. 3 times 8 which equals 24. Then you've got it. So the answer to 31 times 80 is 2480 so the answer to this problem is 2480 pesos since you already know the cost of all the labubus you're on your way to the cashier area to pay for the christmas presents you found a good perfume that you would like to give to your subject teachers the perfume cost 75 pesos and you have a total of 11 subject teachers following our technique let's start from right to left multiply 5 times 1 which equals 5 then write 5 as the last digit now following the middle diagram Multiply 5 times 1 and 7 times 1, which equals 2, 5, and 7 respectively. Add these two together and the sum is 12. Now, since 12 is a two-digit number, keep the 2 and carry the 1. Finally, let's move to the left column. 7 times 1 equals 7, then add the carry 1, 7 plus 1 equals 8, so the answer to 75 times 11 equals 825. After paying at the cashier, she gave you a voucher worth 50% for a minimum of 1,000 pesos on your next purchase. You wanted to take advantage of the offer and decided to buy presents for your friends as well. You have 12 close friends and decided to get them a plushie which is selling at 99 pesos each. Let's apply our technique again. Let's start from right to left. First, 
multiply 9 times 2, which equals 18. Since 18 is a two-digit number, keep the 8 and carry the 1. Write 8 as the last digit. Next, following the middle diagram, multiply 9 times 1 and 9 times 2 equals 9 and 18 respectively. Add these two together plus the carry 1 and the sum is 28. Now, since 28 is a 2 digit number, keep the 8 and carry the 2. Finally, let's move to the left column. 9 times 1 equals 9. Then, let's add the carry 2. So, 9 plus 2 equals 11. So, the answer to 99 times 12 equals 1,188. But wait, we will not pay 1,188 pesos since we will be using the 50% voucher. We get half of the 1,188 pesos and we will only pay 594 pesos. Isn't that amazing? That's such a good deal! saved a lot from the voucher you used, might as well get something for your family. You went to the gift gate store and decided to buy some cute gift sets for each of your family members. You have three siblings, all married with two kids for each family. The gift basket in the supermarket costs 98 pesos. So, the total of family members is 12. That is the husband, wife, and the two children, which equals to 4 times 3 siblings. Let's start from right to left. Multiply 8 times 2, which equals 16. Write the 6 as the last digit, then carry 1. Now, by following the middle diagram, multiply 8 times 1 and 9 times 2, which equals to 8 and 18. Add these two together, then add the carry 1, and the sum is 27. Write 7 as the last digit, then carry 2. Now, Let's move to the left column. 9 times 1 equals 9. Add the carry 2 which equals 11. So, the answer to 98 times 12 equals 1,176. Finally, on your way home, a group of street children started doing Christmas carols. They are 11 in total, and you've decided to bless them with a 20 peso bill. Let's apply what we've learned. Multiply 0 times 1 equals 0. Write 0 as the last digit. Now, following the middle diagram, multiply 0 times 1 and 2 times 1, which equals to 0 and 2 respectively. Add these two together, then the sum is 2. Now, let's move to the left column. Multiply 2 times 1, which equals 2. So, so the answer to 20 times 11 equals 220. There you go! I hope this technique will help you get your answers more quickly and love solving more math problems. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and share. See you later guys! Bye!